overview of recurring bill plan. So by the name itself, a recurring bill plan is one sort of a contract that is recurring. You can take that into multiple business scenarios. As an example, for example, you buy uh, cloud services from Amazon. So that is uh, a classic example of a recurring bill plan. Uh, or you can uh, buy cloud services from a third party provider like a digital ocean wherein a, a preset amount is set say for example hundred dollars a month for buying a specific uh, um, shared cloud instance with uh, receivables and that you can potentially use to host your servers uh, it could be like a web server or an email server and so on and at the end of uh, every month you will be billed that's one sort of business scenario another business scenario could be something like uh, a rental lease agreement so uh, you as a customer has signed a lease agreement with uh, uh, with uh, an organization or a company and every week you will be billed automatically to pay your rent and you will be sent an invoice for that and payment instructions and that either you can set up an automated payment instructions uh, via your uh, internet banking or you can manually pay via internet banking so that's another classic example it could be taken in commercial space as well for example business leasing commercial space leasing or maybe um, car leasing and so on so there are different examples of recurring bill plans so you would have uh, now got the hang of what exactly is meant by recurring bill plan now let me read out these points which also covers a number of other details the recurring billing in oracle fusion cloud receivables helps you manage the creation of invoices on a cyclical basis for a fixed period of time according to the terms of the contract with your customer as an example uh, you have rented an apartment for a one-year lease and every month you will be billed for rent for that you've signed up a contract with your landlord and the landlord could be just a person or it could be like a, a a company which bills you sends you the invoice and that you're liable to pay okay so that's classic example of a contract for recurring billing a recurring bill plan can reliably generate invoices at the specified interval thereby saving the user from manually creating the transaction it not only saves the user from manually creating the transaction but also saves the user to remember the timing of creating the transaction for example the user has to remember that every week he has to send the bill so in this case you can simply instruct the system to create an invoice on your behalf and send it to the customer every week or every fortnight or every month or every quarter as the contract states if during the life of the contract the terms change you can easily update the bill plan and continue to generate the invoices according to new terms of the contract so that's self-explanatory but you've got to remember that whenever you make the change the changes will come into effect from the next invoice so the invoice that's been generated already will not be touched and only the next invoices will be created based on the changes to the recurring bill plan now some of the features recurring billing offers multiple features that makes generating transactions for a contract easy and simple you can use the recurring bill plan to capture details of a contract you can automatically process recurring transactions based on the bill plan thereby saving the user time to manually creating the transactions you can update future transactions simply by updating the bill plan and which is what i've explained in the previous page as well now you can also track all current and past settings and updates to the billing plan and you can also review the transactions generated by bill plan so all that can be done in just one workbench let me quickly show you the recurring bill plan workbench in Oracle Fusion Cloud. So let's quickly jump on to Oracle Fusion Cloud instance. So here I am logged in as a financial implementer 
in Oracle Fusion Cloud instance. So I'm going to look for receivables and then I'm going to go to billing and then within billing from the right hand side taskbar I would look for something called as manage recurring bill plans. So basically this is the workbench wherein either you search the existing bill plans or you create the new ones. In order to create a new ones you have to use this plus icon right here at the bottom or you can search the existing ones using this uh, search console. So I'm going to search recurring bill plans that are already there in US1 business unit and I've got a customer by the name of computer service and rental something like that I'm gonna search for that customer name to see whether I can find it okay so that's the one computer service and rental so I'm gonna select that and hit the OK button then I'm gonna hit the search button so all the recurring bill plans which are there for this customers will be listed at the bottom so there is only one at the moment as you could see the bill plan name also called as a contract is listed over here and as you could see the status tracker the contract start date and end date is listed so these are the basic details of this uh, recurring bill plan contract the billing frequency is week so weekly it the customer will be sent the invoice so if you click on this contract hyperlink it's going to take you through the details of the contract and as I've explained you in my PowerPoint slides you can uh, set up a start date and end date of the contract and you can specify the billing frequency so in this case it is week but you've got other choices such as uh, day month quarter or year and uh, then you can specify the customer details over here the bill to and ship to the payment instructions to uh, the customer such as the payment terms and the receipt method and where the payment has to be sent in terms of the bank account details of yours and you see right here at the bottom I have created the lines so this uh, would be um, for a recurring bill plan for a cloud server uh, which is a mid size and the quantity is 168 basically it's weekly 24 multiplied by 7 you get 168 and the unit price per hour you see the unit of measure I have set it to R so unit price per hour is ten dollar hence the total price for this um, weekly invoicing will be sixteen hundred eighty dollars and for that this invoice will be sent every week starting from this date of fifth uh, uh, 12th of May 2021 okay and you can look at the transactions as well if you if you like so if I look at review transactions from actions you can see that one invoice is already generated if you click on this hyperlink and it's gonna show you more details about that invoice okay so this invoice is generated automatically by the system upon saving this recurring bill plan and then running the recurring bill plan program in the background and then running the import auto invoice program okay so now let's go back to the PowerPoint slide and I'm going to finish off uh, the other details I have listed out there in terms of uh, detailing the recurring bill plans features so this is where we were understanding the features so as you could see you can update uh, future transaction simply by updating the bill plan you can drag all current and past settings and updates to the bill plan you can review the transactions generated by bill plan so I have shown you the transaction generated by bill plan how you can update it again the same form you can potentially use it you see the same form I have just queried so come out of this uh, transaction you see this is the contract details of recurring bill plan and you can always go here you can update the end date or you can update the payment details or you can update the line details or any other details that are enabled you can update it as well and again that will be tracked it's not that you can simply go ahead and update it yourself and it will not be tracked there will be audit history at the background running which you can always track it so we understood the features now few other details generating invoices from recurring bill plan you can generate invoices from a bill plan by scheduling a run of generate recurring billing data program the generate recurring billing data program selects active 
recurring bill plans it generates the invoice lines and uploads the invoice lines to auto invoice interface table the generate recurring billing program selects active recurring bill plans generate invoice lines and uploads the invoice lines to the auto invoice interface tables you can schedule the import auto invoice program to group invoice lines into invoices per customer uh, then yeah, you can also group by bill plan name and bill plan period so basically for the first time when you save your recurring bill plan i believe these two programs runs automatically but for future transactions for future recurring billing to take place you've got to schedule this and align it with your recurring billing frequency so for example if the recurring billing is on a weekly basis then it's best if you schedule this program on a weekly basis so that invoice will be generated and imported into oracle receivables automatically at the end of that week and you can view those transactions associated with recurring bill plan Thank you.